Hey guys, hope everyone's doing good. Um, as always, I start with some FFA announcements. Don't forget to sell meat. Create a t-shirt design, please. Um, the petting zoo is coming up. Maybe tonight if this is a video showed on Friday. I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we have two contest opportunities coming up next week. Next Tuesday, we're going to have our first cattle grading practice after school. And next Thursday, we're going to have either... Um, before and after school, both opening ceremonies trials. So come to one of those or both even and give that a try. But today we're going to jump into something that I think is really cool. So for the last basically two weeks now, we've been learning a lot, a lot, a lot about FFA. And so today I want to kind of jump in and let you actually apply this because I don't want to give you a test. I don't want to give you a history test and all that kind of stuff and make you memorize a bunch of years that honestly, you're not going to use, right? But instead, we're going to create this board for the Tulsa State Fair. And I know we've talked about this in class um, a little bit, but I want to go ahead and jump in and show you that really quick. Okay, so the Tulsa State Fair, we're going to make a board in class. And if you follow my mouse, what we're looking at is this is a four by eight sheet of plywood that's been cut and hinged. And so in the middle here, we're looking at four foot by four foot and on each outside, we're looking at like a two foot by four foot tall, okay? So we're making this board. We're designing the whole thing to teach complete strangers about FFA, to make them want to be a part of the organization, all that kind of stuff, okay? And so you're going to have a paper and you're going to see it as a big box in the middle and it has the two side wings and you are going to create this design. And so you're also going to think about like what to put on the table, all that kind of stuff. Now, the theme on the, all the pictures I'm going to show you is from uh, probably about 10 years ago when the theme was, I believe. This year's theme is legacy, which means leadership that lasts. I know yesterday in class was all about leadership opportunities in FFA. That's what we learned about, right? Um, I want you to think about this. The so leadership board, and it talks about leaving a legacy through FFA. And so you can see all of these boards. Um, and I wouldn't say this is necessarily the greatest um, design one in the world, but it does kind of show you they put pictures of their chapter. They put messages that relate to FFA. They put stuff related to their chapter on the board. They hung lights behind the sign of their name, and you can see those shining on there. Um, this one, they actually did cutouts of FFA members in official dress. You guys could even do that in class, right? We could take pictures of you guys holding letters or different things like that. Um, this one, they thought about the tablecloth and kind of what they did there. And some students with really good handwriting, sorry, major, um, kind of made some really cool designs there. Um, this one, you can see they even had lights on the outside and they had different buzzwords and different, you know, messages about what they do in FFA. Um, you could even put, you know, different props on there that tie in with legacy, putting pictures of, I don't know, famous people or different things like that. Um, this one's pretty extreme, right? Okay, this one, they actually made some metal art and put on the table. You know, we could cut things out of the plasma cam and stick it on the board. That would be totally fine, okay? Um, I think this one, they talked about where different people came from or different things like that. This one, they actually used as an acronym or believe stood for different things. Um, so you can see in each of these, they're showcasing what's important to them in FFA, okay? Um, highlighting achievements and, and winnings by members, uh, this one is so cool. It's kind of trippy to look at, but this one actually had a timeline and you follow it right around here and you look at the different years, you know, just like the timeline that you guys made in class three days ago, right? All right. Today's assignment should take you all hour. It really should if you're doing it well. I understand some of you are very artistic, Lillian, right? Some of you guys, you know, are more like me, not so much, right? Uh, but I want you to create a board that is in really, really good detail. And I want you to think about the message. And I don't even care today if you use the computers a little bit um, to look up some inspiration or some facts or information about FFA, like that's fine. But on your paper, you're gonna draw this out. If you have colored pencil or something like that, that's cool. If you don't, you need to label. If you're doing this with a pencil or pen, which I bet most of you are, you need to label colors and descriptions and stuff like that, okay? It's so important that you have this in insane detail. What color is this gonna be? What size is this going to be? What am I going to put on the table? I want this thing entirely covered, teaching people at FFA. Then we're going to take all of your ideas and kind of combine them into a really cool one. And a couple of weeks from now, we're going to work on painting and cutting and designing all of this in class. And so you should have a good about 45 minutes to work on this, and it should take you all of that. 
if you turn this in in 10 minutes, okay, it's a good chance that you're probably going to fail this thing because it doesn't have a lot of, I can tell, a lot of details, a lot of effort. Remember, all I have to go off of is what's on your piece of paper. You're not here to explain it to me. So if it's not detailed and I don't understand what you're trying to get across, it's probably not going to end the best for you, okay? This is your test. This is to show me what you know and what you understand about FFA. And so treat this like we were taking a multiple choice test online, okay? Um, so detail those. Write notes to the side like this was supposed to be a picture of this. I'm just a bad drawer. Whatever, right? You Even if you're horrible at art, to the side, you can write explanations of what things are supposed to be. You have all hour to do this. At the end of the hour, you're going to turn this into the sub. And I'm going to take a look at these when we get back. You guys have a great day. And actually, it should be one more school day of me being gone. And then I'll get to see you guys soon. So take care.